This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off and dying. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Oh! It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. For hope, for freedom, for science, for love. Don't ever, ever stop. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Stanley just stood there doing nothing at all. He seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe every fascinating little detail of his inability to do anything. This is why Stanley and I are on such good terms. Wait, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. You're telling me... That's what this is. It's all one giant ending. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. This is it, Stanley. Art! I did it! Video games are art! Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation the immense possibility of the new path before him. Do you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? No time to waste when there is such a meaningful game to be played. Bon chance, mon ami. And everything went black.